Yeah, we see oil at $44. Uh, Tyler Wharton from Business of Vancouver is back with us. I got to say, Tyler, when I saw the headline, I actually looked over and said, is that accurate? We're talking <laughs> $20 a barrel, yet gas prices are still, you know, high. Yeah, you know, people like to think, you know, uh, low price of oil means, uh, you know, good for us, you know, cheaper at the uh, gas pumps. But, you know, it has a lot to do with refinery costs, et cetera, et cetera. But is $20 a barrel good for Canada? Not really. A new report from uh, Goldman Sachs is predicting that this could go as low as $20 a barrel just because of oversupply that's going on. They don't think that this oversupply issue is going to let up at uh, any time soon. What it comes down to is OPEC is really uh, producing more barrels of oil than there's really demand for. We're seeing that uh, the economy in China is slowing down right now, which means that there's even less demand than there was before. So originally, last time uh, that Goldman Sachs made such a forecast, they're predicting that uh, oil was going to stay around $57 a barrel. Steve, we already see that it's around $44 a barrel right now, and going down to $20 a barrel really tells you just how much OPEC is producing uh, per day. They're really uh, targeting revenue as opposed to actual profit at this point. So going forward for Canadian economy, I mean, we've already seen the impacts over the last eight or nine months at this point. Uh, the loonies falling quite a bit. Um, there, there's even some analysts uh, predicting the loonie could go down as far as 55 cents uh, compared with the U.S. dollar. I, I mean, on one hand, it could be good for exports, but on the other hand, just average Canadians like us, uh, we're going to be paying a lot more for imports. So it's going to have kind of a sting for a lot of the economy, no matter how you uh, slice it at this point, Steve. All right, Tyler, thank you. If you want more business news, go to BIV.com. Tyler will be back in an hour with a lot more. Thanks, Tyler.